Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Hey, so what's going down? Shit, what's good, bro? Chill, chill. Welcome to Hot Thoughts. For sure, for sure. So, for everybody that doesn't know, let them know who we here with and where you from. Shit, yeah, you here with Superstar Shades, aka Corey. So, shit. Um, from Richmond, Texas, I'm about to turn this shit up. When you say AKA, is it because you, you might have changed your artist name or is that just your actual name? Shit, that's my actual name, but Superstar Sage is my, like, my stage name. Oh, but okay. Don't know if I will change it yet, but I mean, I'm kind of feeling it right now, so I'm gonna let it ride. So let's talk like your, you know, early life growing up. What was the community like for you? Friends, family life? Nah, shit. Straight, none of that shit, none of that hard shit, really. Um, we everybody that knew each other, small, small town, so everybody that knew each other really knew each other. You know what I'm saying? So shit, and then we just branch off, but really, just on some lame shit, really. If you ask me, yeah. Talk the small town, like I know, cause you know my family from the country, which is mm -hmm. small town. Everybody know everybody. It'd be like. Even though it might not be negative, still be like people in everybody's business just because we so close. Oh, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. And the one thing about my town, bro, all these, all the girls that we know in high school, they end up pregnant fast. Like, so it's like everybody in our town, you don't even want these girls because they pregnant. Like, or at least they got one kid and up. So it's like, which is fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, you're not going to enjoy, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? A real good quality time because your time already on. Um, Shit, let me. Shit. To me, man, like, shit. So, talk like, you know, school for you. Were you in the school, sports? Man, this shit. Yeah, so I was a basketball player and shit. Um, I didn't fuck with the football, but I played football for like one year. Like, it was, it was all right. Um, I just played with my friends, and I really didn't want to sit at home with my ass. So, that's, that's about it. Oh, and, um, but I never was rapping in high school. Like, I thought that shit was lame. Gosh. Like, I'm not gonna say I still think it's lame now, but it's like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to like win a Grammy with this shit. So it's like, it's like, I'm not gonna be rapping for like five years into it. I should be on a, another level. Yeah. So. So, okay, talk that moment where you might have decided, let me try to make music. Like, or maybe I should, I can take this shit serious. I can do this shit. Talk that moment. How that? What led you to that? Man, so I went to school in Mexico, bro. Was dumb. Followed my girl. Broke up with her. If y'all wanna know, put names on it. Destiny Rutherford. So like, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit out there it didn't work. So when she bounced on me, nigga, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to find my mix. It's like, just think, I'm in Mexico, nigga. You, it's not a many black niggas, if at least I'm the second one. So it's like, fuck. So I, I met this Mexican nigga, still talk to him this day. So if you get his visa, it's lit. Like, Takashi is lit. But, um, shit, otherwise, that's how it was. And then I just ran off with it. I've been sending niggas music ever since. But I quit. And I started 2015, right? But 2016, but I quit in like 2018, 19, because I didn't like it, so. So yeah, talk those early experiences with it. Like you said, you ain't like it. Was it maybe you, you were still trying to develop a sound? You weren't comfortable in the studio? Like what was those early studio experiences yeah. like? Really, bro, because it was like, you know, I was getting writer's block. That was it, bro. But I still get it, but now I know how to maneuver, but. That writer's block's a motherfucker. Like, I could write two songs, could not write no song for like three months. Like, so when I seen that, I was like, damn, it might not be serious or what I want it to be, so. What's your opinion on like, you know, the different approaches to music where you, you know, you had a writing approach or sometimes you freestyle or punching in? All my songs I write, I smoke in the car and I write it down on my iPhone. So, if niggas say freestyle, bro, that is my freestyle. I will bust out a freestyle like that. Like, but thinking off the dome, of course I can freestyle, but it's gonna sound like not no song, bro. That's all I really don't, I'm not gonna say I don't like freestyling, but like, it's like, that's how I think about it. So all my, all the good shit that you hear is really about sitting in the car, smoking and putting it on the iPhone.
and just making it, making it bounce in the home studio. So talk the process of like how you came with the name. Where where did Superstar Sage come from? Man, really, I miss with this hoe in San Antonio. Her name was Sage, right? So I was like, damn, and I was thinking. Like what is and I know when people say and shit, so I was just thinking, I'm like, man, shit, it's you know what I'm saying, maybe S A G E. But some people say S A I G E, but I just put S A G E. I was like, shit, well I think I'm a superstar anyway. So the superstar is because I'm trying to get on the superstar level. I'm not trying to be at this like, you know what I'm saying? Like let me say like as a I'm trying to be I'm trying to like I said, win a Grammy, I'm trying to be that superstar that everybody love. Like, I don't really give a fuck about the beef shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't run with me, fuck you. Like, we cool. Keep it. But, um, man, I got, you know what I'm saying? We fighting for life at this point, bro. Yeah. But shit, what it is. Sure. So, hearing the name, I wanted to ask if you were spiritual. That's why I was going with that. Because, you know, when you hear Sage, a lot of people use that with the cleansing energies and things of that sort. What's your opinion on this? Well, I, I, I feel it. I'm a Christian. Well, I'm going to say I'm a follower of God because, you know, some Christians be here to hypocritical. So, I don't like to get all into it. But I know when we all die, we serve one man. You know what I'm saying? I know someone died for our sins. That's all I'm going to go with it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like I said, I know. Like, I know there's a higher hierarchy. You know what I'm saying? So, I respect that. And I will always... You know what I'm saying? Thank them on the way. So I believe in God. You know, not saying you know don't care about the people who don't. Like you don't. I hope you find your way. You know, um, but otherwise, it's good to me. You believe in aliens? Hey yo, bro. Hey yo, bro. When I look up and you be seeing them shits fly or or you like that shit, not like it's either one, bro. They looking at you, and then two. Why the hell would it be there? Like. What makes you think at nine o'clock? You just think nine o'clock, there's just gonna be something floating and shit, just chilling. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, me, yeah, I believe in that shit. You had some experience, like you saw a UFO, or like you feel like you got abducted or something? Or something? Nah, hell nah, but I feel like, nah, I seen, well, I seen something like in the air, like, you know, like a, it could have been a shooting star, but man, it ain't look like one, you know? That's what I'm saying. So, talk, you know, uh, the, I say like the past two, I think it's two, maybe going on three years, we've been in a pandemic where it's been kind of a transition for everybody's life. Some good, some bad, some like, you know, whatever. What has it been like for you? It's been, it's been great. I'm eating bread. I don't know about other people, but it's been good for me. Um, it's a bad matter of fact. I'm thankful for the pandemic. I love it. I love that it happened. Because I found myself and I found who I want to be in. So like, if this pandemic didn't happen and us not sitting our ass down, huh, I'll be what smoking weed, trying to be with the fucking thoughts, trying to pop. So, and I damn near talked to half of the girls in my city, and this is a fact. So, if if we get a person that don't like it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, I'll address it too, cause it's it's funny. So, you feel like with the the. I say like rapper lifestyle, music, like artist lifestyle in general. You feel like the the, the females they like come with it, or it's just like a distraction. It's a distraction, bro. Like, but it, it, it's a blessing at the same time. If you wanna, you know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't gonna be that nigga, but shit. Like girls are the downfall too. Like so, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? All that in the, in the midst of all that party, you gotta know. Cause I went to Green Bay. I had a I had a friend. I don't rock with him no more though. But I was with him while he was in the NFL, and we was just seeing it. That's when that's another reason why I started this rap shit. Like I'm seeing the life. Like we with bitches, we with hoes every day. Like we seeing we seeing known porn stars. Like it, this is the life. Like you know what I'm saying. So in the midst of it, like I knew it wasn't gonna be for long, but. I thank God that he let me experience that shit because it showed me like, nigga, this this what you want. Like, and it hit me just smoking, mm -hmm. smoking in the club. Like, I'll never forget, like I tell I tell my boy, like that Roxanne song, I don't know if you know about it, man, that shit got me fucked up, bro, when I came back home. Like, nigga, I'm God. That's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that music shit. That's what I wanna, you know, that's what I want, like, on that type of level, making that type of music. So, so that shit cool. And, you know, one thing that I just, you know, working around music, I feel like females, they usually are more real about, you know, if the song good, if they're not versus asking Yeah, 
that, and that's why I say in one of my songs, like, you know what I'm saying? These niggas not gonna buy my shit, but they hoes will. So it's cool. Like, and if they hoes don't, like, it'll be cool. Like, it'll be cool, but I know everybody know me. So I'm not just no lame nigga in my city. Like, so.